<laughs> oh shit! Hey anyone, how's it going? Welcome back to W on Camera, where tonight we're watching Agatha All Along Episode 4. Last episode ended with the death of Sharon, Mrs. Hart, what Miss Hart, whatever you want to call her. But she died. And I don't know if that's gonna stick. <laughs> because on one hand, she is the most comedic relief character there. And she's the only human, so it would make sense. On the other hand, it's really sad that this old lady had to live through Wanda and now just got dragged into all this nonsense, and now she's dead. Regardless of how it ended, though, we got to see an interesting peek into everyone's backstories last, last episode, even though it was just the trial of the Water Witch. So I'm curious to see how they're going to you know, show us more and more of their various backstories as the show continues. Especially, who, whose trial is it this episode? Third, they pushed the idea that Teen is actually Agatha's son really hard last episode. It could be just, hey, we're not hiding it, here's the answer. Or more likely, hey, look, we're going to throw something really obvious in your face to hide the fact that uh, this is the truth. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Obviously, we won't be finding out for a few weeks yet. Last thing, I gotta thank my amazing members, Randy Orton3215 and my dad. Thank you guys so, so much for supporting me and the channel. I really appreciate you. If you want to see my full unedited reactions to this episode and other TV shows and movies, then you can become a member of the channel for as little as a dollar a month. But let's just get into it. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more of my content, especially my reactions to Agatha, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you don't want to do either, then let's just get into the episode already. If my if I can't reach you, let my song teach you. You're gonna make a joke about her name, aren't you? I didn't think you had it in you. I didn't think you would want to burying them. Who are you talking to? Yo, that was suspicious as all hell. Who is she talking to? The road would save me. From what? From the generational curse on her family, obviously. Oh, you know they're not following you. Oh my god, Aggie dear, just sit patiently and wait. Heart was a bad draft. You know, he except for the fact that there's the Earth Witch quest that you still need to do. Still have the issue of our uh, the most Why are you arguing you with the one person who's actually done this? Okay. I mean, you can argue about the... Uh, I'll, seriously, Agatha, you want to share any details about how you finished this the first time? I just left the road with you last time. Oh, see? Thank you. Potions, witch. This is your fault. How about the well, fact that none of you remembered to give her anything? Fatal from Mrs. Hart. Oh. Can you just shut up and listen to the I empathetic teenager? What if we summon a backup green witch? Are you gonna call Rio now? There is so much that could go wrong. How would you know? Do you know how much? I can't tell this music like daughter how much cut witch stuff she actually knows and how she doesn't. Okay, I guess you can just channel magic even with just like yelling lint not in the end. What is happening? Who are they gonna summon? Can you do this in the real world or what? She didn't have ma how much of this is magic and how much this is? Now we wait. I don't know. True witchcraft takes time. Okay, true witchcraft is like the slow way of magic. Oh shit! What the frick? Why is she, she twisting like that? Is that you? Oh no, it's just you. Hi, Rio. You Probably. A party? I thought you were supposed to be here earlier. He's the Black Heart. Come on, Agatha. What else do you think was gonna happen when you summoned know. another one? I'm Rio. I I somehow doubt that. More the Green Witch. Um, so what the fuck was that? Uh, yeah, I don't know if that, well, I know what she is. So, what do we think? Can we trust her? No! She just yelled at you in a, like, demonic voice. Just say no. Alright, let's see the next one. Okay, this one stays spooky. Here we go again. Is every trial basically yes. a magic escape room? What exactly? Is this the hotel Alice. where their mom dies or something? What happened? What's the plan, Alice? Go back, go around, go anywhere but in that house. Yeah, you really think they were gonna let you just go? Uh, 
Are you just afraid in general of seeing more nightmares here from mom? Or do you recognize that building in particular? Waxing moon. The fire face. I huh? figured it was gonna be you. You're the one who decided not to go in. Okay. All right, what theme are we going for now? She was thinking about staying outside for a second. Okay, so is this screen gonna expand for like the entire time? Don't for every episode? Don't eat. Check me out. Check you all out. <laughs> Seriously, we're an album cover waiting to happen. God, you all look nuts. The hell, that is creepy. The guy in the cage. No. No what? No, I'm not scared of you. No what? Who is she? Horrid torture scenes. What a nice thing to cover your windows with. Oh. And all the ways to kill witches. Got it. Uh oh. You guys already about to freak out or what? There she is. There's your mom. Her fans were her coven. But did they open the road? Can, what, can you guys realize that she just kind of spouts things off? Ghost possession or future sight? Probably future sight or something. I'm feeling like I want to cause some damage. Let's not kill people right now. Ferried the closest, most appropriate candidate down. Or up. Or up? Hmm. Where did you come from, hell? Why did you bring that boy? He's the one who started this in the first place. It was all his idea. You think he's your son. Agatha's like genuinely afraid of Aubrey Plaza here. Kill all the witches around you. Wait, wait, who hit the button? I thought Agatha hit the... One. Hit the button. But I'm not that kind of witch anymore! That's bullshit. <laughs> Fuck! Why don't you do that? What, what the hell is this? The split, like, focus thing. Yeah, I can hear that. Demonic spoil voice spinning incessantly. What is... We've been cursed. <laughs> what is with the f here's the problem I don't get any of the references in this show I didn't get last episode oh metronome <laughs> no duh maybe this curse isn't so bad don't you say that you idiot you're gonna start dancing oh shit was she melting oh they're about to experience all the various tortures on the walls. Okay, so you can do magic. The only way to end a curse is to face it. Get out and suffer. Oh, ah. Uh-oh. Just start drawing circles around all of them. Stop talking. Yeah, they're getting burned. What is that? Bad. That's the curse. I love how she... There's something, something up with her. It's the ballad, of course. It's played backward. Is that noise de actually in there? If you reverse it? Isn't it? You brought it in here, didn't you? Oh, it is her curse. It, was me. it is my fault that I, I can't keep a job. That everything I touch turns to shit. I couldn't save her. Okay, but how do you? Now you need to face the curse. Oh, him too. Oh shit! Oh, I think it just wants you out of here. No, it's not. Sing the song. All signs point to a jam session. You're right. I kind of missed all the instruments. But you're not to pay your own mom's version. What did? What was her intention? To get rid of the curse and to save her daughter. To save her daughter. You should have burnt to a crisp years ago, but here you are. That's because at any given moment, somewhere, someone is playing that song that you hate so much. Huh. Lorna's ballad is a protection spell. That's actually kind of clever. Protect you. And it's such a hit song. Oh, go, go, go. Draw some circles. <laughs> no, I, I studied the Zills and a little pen. Unhelpful. Okay, Jen. LA. Useless. I'm still in the circle. Jen! Well, what do you know? Zills. <laughs> play it right, play it well, and maybe we won't die. I didn't think we'd get to see them do the song twice in, a, twice in this show. 
up. It's a record. It's a recording session. It's a recording studio. I don't know how that didn't hit me, with all the evidence there. Oh shit! See, that's why you could have just drawn the circles ahead of time, right? Our love was forged in fire. That's a different TV Water, show. Earth, and air. Avatar. This is hard <laughs> Thanks, Curse, for adding a little bit of flair to it. I kind of preferred the chant version in the first episode. But this ain't too bad either. Down the road, down the witch's road. Oh shit. Keep playing, keep playing. Yeah, you're on fire. Just keep going. Ouch. Wait, what the hell is that? Is that a knife in your side? <laughs> Genuinely, can someone tell me in the comments what this is a reference to? This is awesome. God, this is hilarious. If I can reach you, let my song teach you. Roll credits! Episode title right there. How did you get... whatever. <laughs> oh, shit! No, 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 keep playing! Yeah, come on! Just keep playing, all of you. That is horrendously creepy for a creature that may only be be on screen for like a couple seconds. Also looks fa also looks fairly practical. I can't tell. Ouch! Oh, that's what the burn marks are. It's trying to carry her away. Keep playing. I think you did it! Well, I think that's your problem solved. We did it. Hey, look, another staircase. Ah, uh, shit. He's got stabbed. How? Why is there glass in him? Oh, from getting thrown through the window. That's what it looked so weird. See, at least, at the very least, we know she's seeing him as her son. Why do you keep telling that to her? What do you need? Water and moonlight. There's moonlight back there. Hurry. Is she dead? I, I, I don't want to act crazy. Since people are talking about her being like black heart or whatever. Abakwa. But like, Huare. is she Wolnus. death? Abakwa. Like I avoid, I, I knew there's some Wolnus. spoilers that came Abakwa. out, Funko Pop spoilers, but I'm avoiding those. Is she death? All right. Magic and la Latin and moon to the rescue. It was a trap. It's a trap! I still don't know how he did it. Could it be a mental thing? Maybe you're not really bound with magic, but it's only a mental thing. I like this. Like, last episode we got to see the beginning of their flashbacks throughout, like, the magic forced them to relive it. This time, they're having a little bit of a break, and they're kind of like freely discussing a little bit more information themselves. Moonlight and water save teens, so you should remember to stay hydrated too. Here. Still alive. Great. And now that he's alive, back to your usual attitude. Sigils are destroyed. The answer is when they're no longer needed. Well, that's furiously annoying. I really hope they get close and she thinks that he's with her kid, but it's actually Wanda's kid, because that would be a, a hilarious twist. Just what point really in their relationship. I don't think she's mm, cracked enough fast. to tell you that. We're not staying here long. Yeah, sorry, teen. Billy boy, you're not close enough to ask that question. What is that? Vampire bite. Right before I knocked out his other two. <laughs> No. The f what is this the first mention of vampires? No. But now. You ever hear of the Daughters of Liberty? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Agatha. Just relax just a little bit. And I had to do something that I did not want to do, even though it was my job. Okay, so you were in love with Agatha. And it hurt them. Agatha, so she had to kill Agatha's she kid. Was my scar. You know, following a random series of thoughts, if she really is Agatha's girlfriend, and she really is death, then... I know and Agatha have the same girlfriend. That boy isn't yours. Uh-oh. 
Well, guess that was, they're, they're telling us that immediately, right? They're not even letting it sit a little bit. So you had to kill her son. Well, episode over. Well, that was episode four. If I can't reach you, let my song teach you. Which uh, basically tells us that the entire witch's road is, at least, unless they throw us a curveball, it seems like a long series of escape rooms for each tribe. Now, Mrs. Hart died, and they're like, okay, how are they going to have deal with the fact of no Green Witch? They call up Rio, who I kind of expected to show up back in episode one to replace if the road wouldn't open at all, but uh, she showed up now, better late than ever. She's creepy as all hell, because of course she is. She's played by Aubrey Plaza. Who she is? That's the question. Of course, they call her Rio. She says in a very demonic tone that she is the Green Witch. There's some whack weird little details. I'll have my bodies. The way Agatha was like, don't. Don't what? Don't take him. Is she death? Or something like that. I don't know. Guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Though, something else we can be sure of is that she was absolutely in a romantic relationship with Agatha. Right? They were having that moment there. They were going to kiss. But it was Rio herself who's like, Agatha, dear, teen, Billy boy, he isn't your child. Obviously, Agatha is kind of like imprinting on him. Last episode, they said she wouldn't realize if that was her kid. Right. And that's the point. She's like, OK, she's treating him. She's thinking of him as her kid. Didn't really care when anyone else got hurt. But the second he got hurt, immediate panic mode. Of course, the real focus of the episode was the fact that they had was Alice. Right. They went into her trial and they got turned into like a 70s rock band and she had to face what her mother did. She's been thinking the mother was obsessed with witchcraft, magic powers. Right. I, I couldn't understand how much of the witchcraft stuff she knew. Clearly, her mom told her she just stopped believing, believing after her mom died. But she was like, oh, mom's obsessed with this stuff. She doesn't care about me. Plus, we I can't accept that we're cursed and we're all going to die. So she's been carrying that around and finally through the music, she had to face the curse head on and take it down. Which is interesting, really. But that means one witch out of these ones has already faced their big fear and kind of got their wish granted. Right? She learned she's found out why her mom did everything. Right. Just having this that song would channel some power, channel some like basic witchy magic to protect Alice for longer. Right? Now she actually has the curse gone. So her questions are answered. What kind of witch will she get at the end of the road? Is there even enough like, hey, everyone who survives till the end gets a wish? Or is it one person who gets a wish? I'm almost wondering if it could be one, as in all these trials could be helping the witches like face their or their trauma, face their past and reach points where they have what they want without necessarily here's magic power again or something. Fun musical, fun pyrotechnics. Honestly, I'm just curious about these larger questions that are not going to be answered for such a long time since we still have to get through these smaller trials first. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. What was your favorite part of this episode? And do you prefer this rendition of the Wishes Ballad to the episode one rendition of the Wishes Ballad? Over here is whatever YouTube decides to be. Over here is the next episode whenever that comes out. Over here is a place to my videos. And on my face is the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe, criticize even. I don't mind. See you.